Okay, hello again. Vectors are anything that can be added together and scaled by real numbers. Therefore, this question is extremely important. Uh, a, what is a linear combination? Uh, B, how is any V in the plane R2 a linear combination of E1 and E2? C, how is V, this specific V, a linear combination of E1, E2, E3, which are sometimes called I hat, J hat, K hat. Okay, so actually I'm going to wait on part A because part B seems maybe a better way to start. Okay, how is any V a linear combination? So any V in R2 is really... Um, some it has two two components. We usually call them if the vector is called v, then I like to call them v one and v two. So um, v well, let's see. So v is equal to v one comma v two, which is equal to v one times e one plus v2 times e2. And why is that? Well, because v1 is a number, and e1 is this vector, and v2 is a number, and e2 is this vector. We can write them as columns, but sometimes maybe it's better to write them as rows. Um, so, I mean, this is just a v1 comma 0. Like, I just multiply each vector component by the by the number v1 and same thing here I, I multiply through that's how we scale a vector by a real number we just multiply that number to every piece of the vector as you can see when we when we add these two vectors we do in fact get v1 v2 and so maybe like this whole sequence explains how any v any v at all is equal to um, a linear combination of e1 and e2. So in a specific case, like if v, if v was the vector 4, 3, then v is equal to 4e1 plus 3e2. OK, and let's do c. c, how is this v a linear combination of e1, e2, e3? OK, so c. Um, so if v equals 4 minus 3 pi, I'm just copying it from up here. v is 4 minus 3 pi. Um, that v is equal to 4e1 plus minus 3e2 plus uh, pi e3. And you can see that just now I'll write them as column vectors. And so you can see, like, the 4 just comes up there, the minus 3 goes in the second slot, and the pi goes in the third slot. And that reconstructs this vector, 4 minus 3 pi. And that's it for C. Let's do A. What is a linear combination? So this is actually an incomplete question. What is a linear combination? of what? A linear combination of what? So you need to say, so in my answer I'll make the question make sense. Of course I wrote this um, incomplete question, <laughs> but a linear combination of vectors is a weighted sum. Um, so let's say I had vectors v1, v2, v3, v4, all the way up to vk. And now here I'm using it, in a, I'm using this subscript as in a different way. Like usually I'd say like v1 equals v, v2, v, or sorry, v equals v1, v2. But now I'm using it in a different way. I'm saying v1 is a vector. So it, like it's an element of some Rn. 
So really, so now if I wanted to name the components, I'd have to invent something new, like v11, v12, v13, uh, v14, if, v, if v1 was an element of r4. So this is just um, naming. I mean, naming things is hard. You have, you have to be flexible, and part of this class is learning to be flexible with um, notation and naming things especially in higher dimensions, because it gets even harder <laughs> um, when you're dealing with things in higher dimensions. Okay, a linear combination of vectors is a weighted sum, c1, v1, plus c2, v2, plus c3, v3, plus dot, 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 blah, 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 all the way to the last vector, however many vectors you have, like maybe k is equal to 7, then there would be 7 terms in this sum. Um, where each c sub i is just a real number, and each v sub i is a vector in some vector space, some r to the n. Okay, and so, I mean, so an example of a linear combination is here. Here is, you know, c1 v1 plus c2 v2 plus c3, v3, except actually these vectors have special names. They're called e1, e2, and e3. The vectors in the point in the unit direction in the first, second, and third dimensions. Okay, so did I answer the question? What is a linear combination? A linear combination of vectors is a weighted sum like that where each coefficient or scalar is a real number and each vi is a vector. And so, you know, the result is of this, when we add up all these things, we're going to get a vector. And um, I could, then another way to write this is you could just say the sum of the ci vi. Um, this is sort of like a shorthand for this if you don't want to write this entire thing out, you could just write it like this. Um, and then if you wanted to be more precise, like how many terms are in the sum? One term, two term, three term, etc. How many terms? Well, in this case, there's k terms, which is now um, some very, like a k could be seven. Okay.